Good morning. I am pleased to welcome you to this video. If the lesson is useful to you, you can subscribe the channel for more teaching videos. A poem analysis by Yora Satchigan. Interview written by Diades and Aiko. Outline, introduction to the poem, title of the poem, and poem analysis. Introduction to the poem. This poem is about a job interview where a candidate faces an interview without a proper preparation, which shows the hopelessness of the candidates. This poem criticizes the quality of our education system as it does not cater the needs in the job markets. The mismatch between the job market and the education system has been clearly portrayed in this poem. Title of the poem. Though the title does not specifically mention the subject of the poem as a job interview, it sounds to interview ourselves on the efficiency of education we received in terms of practicality. The title can be read as a command which suggests an evaluation on its efficiency as well. Poem analysis. The poem has been written in first person narration from the point of view of a candidate who has come to attend a job interview. At the beginning of the poem, hopelessness of the candidate has been expressed as he or she has come to attend the interview without a CV. As we are aware about the importance of a CV at the job interview, the candidate's negligence to hurry that with him or her shows how the particular candidate is unprepared for the interview. Poem analysis continues. The speaker in this poem has sat for two national examinations in which the examination at advanced level was faced in a bio stream. For the education level of the candidate significantly differs when the job seekers at present are concerned, the poem clearly pictures the issue of unemployment in Sri Lanka. As such, the writer worries that the education system in our country does not produce job takers. Rather, unfortunately, it continues to produce numerous job seekers who are unable to find suitable jobs on time according to their educational qualifications. The anxiety of the speaker indicates it as a social problem, not as an individual experience of the, of the youngsters in the country. The achievement of the expected level of knowledge, skill, and attitudes are questionable among the products of Sri Lankan education system in order to suit the requirements and demands in the society. The line, any job will do, intensifies the psychological condition of the candidates. Since the candidate is prepared to do any job, the pathetic condition of educated Sri Lankan men has been emphasized. The second half of the poem discloses the weakness of the education system in the country. The relevant authorities are blamed for the inefficiency of the system. The poem accuses them for their negligence and the unawareness of the reality. The poet has used a metaphor to refer to the educational authorities or the government who do not understand the reality at grassroots level. Though the term 100,000 sounds exaggeration, 
it unfolds the excessive number of unemployed youngsters in the country. The level of unemployment has been emphasized through those addictions. The metaphorical carpenter refers to the educational authorities who produces graduates who are not suitable for the available jobs. The products of the education system does not match with the available job opportunities in the country. On the other hand, this statement suggests the inefficiency of the candidates to showcase relevant skills to perform the task in the jobs where they are posted. The mismatch has been presented with the dictions around and square. While the graduates are mentioned with the term square pegs, the available job opportunities have been mentioned as round holes. Producing pegs as square in shape to fix into the round holes denotes the mismatch clearly. Another important aspect is the limited number of job opportunities. The graduates are not trained for the needed job vacancies. The poem criticizes the efficiency, inefficiency of decision making based on the feedback. As the carpenter is not informed properly, he continues to produce unsuitable graduates for the available job vacancies. Through those examples, the pathetic condition of the graduates have been portrayed. Therefore, the poem blames the education system of the country to produce graduates as job seekers. The writer expects a change in the system to overcome this condition in the islands. Scholars mention vertical as well as horizontal mismatch of education in the jobs where people are posted. It still continues in Sri Lanka. The poem has been sarcastic in revealing the bitter truth in the country. The writer bravely points out these loopholes in the system. Thank you.